this is by John Miranda. Much respect, sir, for your work. Yes. Thank you for being in this. Mainstream mm-hmm. media has finally been confronted with addressing Q after numerous Q supporters were president at President Trump's recent rally in Tampa. Even Wikipedia has put up a page upon Q and on now. All because of a LARP, all for an internet troll. While MSM downplay the number of people interested in the Q drops upon 8chan, the truth is unquestionably that tens of millions now follow the intel drops of Q. The Q phenomenon has truly gone worldwide. Time magazine recently acknowledged that Q is one of the 25 most influential people on the internet. They also admitted that over 130,000 videos had been made upon Q on YouTube. That was a month ago. Where are we now? At 150,000, all for a LARP, all for an internet troll. Q is said to be in close contact with and in close coordination with the Trump administration and indeed with President Trump himself. Among the drops have even been photos taken aboard Air Force One from Camp David and even the president's desk in the Oval Office. Q has also been confirmed by the president's Twitter feed numerous times as the president has tweeted out the same phrase and or keywords shortly after Q has dropped. Even the odd phrase tippy top came from the president himself at the White House. Easter egg hunt after Q mentioned it. The proofs are all over these things I had mentioned are well documented. So a long tirade upon the legitimacy of Q is utterly pointless. That brings us to the purpose of Q. To those parasites out there, we have a message for you. You stole our lives, you stole our money, you stole our minds, you stole our children. You divided us. You made us believe we are nothing but a mere speck of dust. You corrupted the young, you committed the most disgusting, vile things. You fed off our elderly. You poisoned us with your chemicals. You poisoned us with your propaganda. You gave us diseases. You tried to steal our compassion, our kindness, our empathy, our love for one another. But you are unsuccessful. Today we are powerful. We stand within our own divinity and we choose kindness, compassion, empathy, love, community, caring. We will not be defeated. We say no more. We reclaim back our own divine sovereignty to be free, unmolested, uncorrupted, untainted. No more will you steal the most innocent from us. No more will you spill your darkness. We are the activated beam of light. Your sins will be brought out, dragged out, for all to see darkness can never exist in the white, bright light of love. You will disintegrate and fall before our very eyes. We are Q. We're a band of brothers and sisters with one mind, one aim. We march to the drummer's beat. Our song is no more. We are Q. We are the light. We are your downfall. Where we go one, we go all. Adriana Council. Why indeed is this happening And why has it become an international phenomenon? Q quite simply is a well-organized information source that has bypassed the corrupt mainstream media and communicate directly with those who will research and spread the information. It is the president's way to let us understand what is taking place, what we're up against. Everything is being dealt with. To be precise, Q has informed us of the plan, purpose of Q, information, education, and preparation. Delivered directly to the public, bypassing our corrupt mainstream media. It is literally a plan to save the world. One patriot, Joe M. at Storm is Upon Us, has even made a video that outlines the plan both correctly and in its entirety, in my opinion. Indeed, many key phrases are increasingly becoming synonymous with Q. We have it all. No coincidences. No deals. These people are stupid. Future proves past. Name a few. It's a must-watch. One, though, stands alone in underlying the gravity of what we're up against. Pure evil. Most of the problems humanity currently are suffering from can be directly connected to elite, powerful people involved in unspeakable crimes, primarily against children. As Q has also stated, this is not a game. Q has become a phenomenon because once essentially everyone begins to research the Q intel, they quickly understand the truth of it. That's John Miranda. You can follow him on Facebook. 